Hey guys, it's Crystal and I'm here to do a non-spoiler review of The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Um, in Saturdays or Sundays videos I said that I had hoped to finish it by Saturday or Sunday and I did. So I thought I would do a review of it today. Um, I'm not going to do spoilers but basically I'm just going to read the synopsis. My dogs keep on barking so I'm sorry guys. But um... Okay. <laughs> it's not working. But anyways, I'll try to talk through it. Um, so, The Fault in Our Stars, I basically just read the synopsis and then tell you guys what I thought about it. Um, one thing that I do really suggest, though, if you're reading this book, is you have to be in the right mood for it. Because if you're not, then it'll just be really depressing and I can kind of see how you could not get through it. Like, I was in a good mood for this book. I wasn't... Like, I don't know. I just was in a good mood for this book. So I really enjoyed it. Um, the synopsis reads, Despite the tumor shrinking medical, um, medical miracle that has brought her a few years, Hazel has never been anything but terminal. Her, her final chapter inscribed upon diagnosis. But when a gorgeous plot twist named Augustus Waters suddenly appears at Cancel Cancer Kids Support Group, Hazel's story is about to be completely rewritten. Um, basically, it's the story of August, uh, Augustus and Hazel and how they fall in love, and it's really romantic and sweet. And I, it was really sad though at the ending. I've I cried twice during this book. Um. But it was really good, and it, this is the first book that I've read recently that definitely deserves all the hype that it has gotten from both the booktube community, and from Twitter, and Facebook, and the movie, and everything like that. So it totally deserves all the hype that it's been getting up. Um, so I really hope you guys will go and check this book out, and I am really excited to see the movie. I rated this book 5 out of 5 stars. So I will see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Bye-bye.